Hey guys, welcome back to another week of planning in my Franklin Covey Vintage Aurora binder. So this is the Purple Plumeria and I'm sticking with it for the entire month of October. I think I'm going to be switching into my Blue Mirage in November because November sounds like a cold month to me. And um, you know what? I am struggling with it because look, like this is, well, the pen's in there, but I can barely get this thing closed. And uh, I want to start using the rest of the tabs more because I feel like I'm still using my Erin Condren and my Happy Planner a lot, especially for reference tonight. So like I know, you know, this wasn't really supposed to start until January and I will be having a haul coming. I haven't placed it yet, but I will be ordering some new products from Franklin Covey and I'm excited to share those with you. Probably will be in a weekly plan with me and, uh, We'll see how it goes because uh, November is coming up quickly, you guys. So this is what my binder looks like. This is kind of what the setup was last time I did a weekly plan with me. And I uh, haven't really used my heart notes. The problem with this is I always keep my Pentel Energel pen in my binder at all times. I keep another one of these bad boys in my compact when I'm out and about. And the problem is you need a micro perm or some kind of like permanent Sharpie to write on the vellum sticky notes from basically anywhere. So whether it's a vellum sticky note from cloth and paper or simply gilded, which is where this is from, you need a permanent Sharpie or fine liner, whatever. And so I haven't really used them. So I might start taking some of this stuff out just because it's so bulky. And I will be using some of these stickers in my my uh my plan with me this this time because these are once more the love it is a canadian company out of vancouver i absolutely love the stickers i did have them in my recent haul slash compact resetup i will link that video if you guys haven't seen it already but uh i have three hauls in that video so go ahead and check it out i'll still be using my let's planet stickers and i do have some more coming from let's planet i ordered i think i ordered like 12 sheets i like the little mini coras they're so cute perfect for daily planning so i'll set those aside and of course i will bring out my own stickers um if you guys haven't checked my sticker shop out yet the information is all down below in the description box but my website is www.sandradoll.ca i do sell these stickers i have three different types of paper and um what the first one is like white matte which is plain everyday paper i feel like a lot of sticker shops that i've purchased from over the years so there's been a few etsy shops the paper is just the plain paper it, it's not anything special so uh, literally just the cheapest sticker paper you can buy. So I get my sticker paper from a place called Online Labels. It's in the US. It's very expensive. Shipping is ridiculous, but it is the best quality paper. And I prefer, actually, I find that the cut on my Cricut machine is absolute best if you print on the white, or it's the white matte weatherproof. It is the most expensive paper. It's quite pricey. I do charge $4.25 a sticker sheet, but my sticker sheets are also a lot bigger than a lot of sticker sheets you will find. And for instance, like I use these mini YouTube icons a lot, but just the size comparison alone, they're quite a bit bigger. So you do get quite a few more stickers. And I just, I feel like it prints the best on the white weatherproof mat. So I also offer plain sticker paper. It is the cheapest option in my shop, but I also have a white gloss, which is gorgeous. If you're getting any decorative stickers from my shop, the white gloss is the best, uh, especially um, like actually I've used it here on these dollar bill stickers. So you, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let's see if I can shine it. It's like this white gloss. It's not a clear paper. It's like, you know, exactly what it says, white gloss, but um, the ink, like the color comes out really, really nicely on that. But, uh, yeah, I do prefer the, the weatherproof one. These ones would look gorgeous on the gloss, but anyway, that's enough with that. If you want to take a look at what I have on my website, go ahead and check it out. And without further ado, we're going to flip straight to my task cards. So I still haven't done this. You guys, I don't want to say that this week has been a write-off. Um, I always get in these bad habits when Chad is home. 
So when he's home, I feel like I do absolutely nothing. It's not even like I feel like it. I don't do anything. I want to relax because he's home, he's relaxing, and I feel like I want to do the same thing. The only thing I do is I film. And I also do my Franklin video and I do my budget video. So those are the two videos I do for sure. And lately I have been doing my makeup videos because I'm a little bit behind on that. And um, so that's something. And before we actually get into the thick of planning, I just wanted to remind you guys, if you choose to use any affiliate links whatsoever, I wanted to remind you that the, the Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets, it's a goal setting planner. It, there's a new one coming out in January, so you can actually buy it now. The launch date was October 6th, and I just wanted to kind of like, I don't really know how I can get it across. If You guys can check out my goal videos, but the Power Sheets are a system that helps motivate you to set goals and to stick with goals throughout the year. And when before I bought this, I, you know, I didn't even really care about setting goals. I wasn't really... It, it wasn't, it, it's not that it wasn't my thing. I didn't really know that much about it. I didn't really, yeah, I guess for lack of a better word, I didn't care. But this keeps you so accountable. So, I mean, yes, you can write this stuff down on a piece of paper somewhere, but it's not the same as actually completing the prep work every month and then actually like having this tending list sheet and crossing stuff off. It is one of the best things, one of the best tools I have used. And ironically, it did start... I, uh, this is my second pl planner. So the third one is coming in the mail right now for 2022. But I started this at the start of my business when I first started up my YouTube channel, when everything was starting out for me. And it's a great time that it did because honestly, I don't think I'd be where I am right now if I didn't have this. I don't think I'd have organized myself properly. And this is just an overall great system. It has made me so productive over the couple of years that I've been doing my business. And I mean, I've got two kids I, and I, we're, we're trying for a third. So, um, and I'm still managing to look after my kids at home while I'm doing my business, which is kind of crazy because a lot of people, you know, they, they take their kids to daycare, right? But not me, <laughs> not me because it is a little unaffordable and I'm not making a full-time income yet. So that's kind of why, but anyway, I don't want to share too much information and bore you guys with the plain old boring stuff. Let's get into weekly planning, shall we? So the first step is to review my goals. So if you guys have checked out my last couple of videos, you'll know that I switched my weekly goal planning from the Sunday of every week to my little progressive task list here. So this is where I've been putting it. And, you know, I think I I tried not to be overzealous on this list, but I, I was. I put stuff on here that is honestly for the whole month of October. And um, I'm going to cut it back this time because... I feel like I'm not, I'm, I'm not progressing in anything. And sometimes you get like that. I'm going to write a blog on this topic, but it's basically the, the perfectionist goal where you strive to do everything. And then when you don't hit absolutely everything, you do nothing. And that's how I feel like I, that's how I feel this week. Okay. So we have a new weekly progressive task list here. And um, I'm going to use some different colors. I'm probably not going to use my black pen as much today. I want to try out these pens. I just did a video on them. And uh, you guys, I just honestly spent like a whole bunch of minutes looking for them. When you can't find pens amidst all of your pens, you know that you have too many. I, <laughs> so obviously like, but this whole Franklin thing that I started, I started planning on my Franklin planner just recently. The goal was to start... In January so that was my original goal and I was gonna get everything set up for January but I was so excited I started early and so before I actually was more of a bullet journal enthusiast I guess I did I did kind of plan in happy planners along the way but it was more for um, more for the sake of planning because I've always been I've always had a love of planning. I actually love brush like calligraphy and hand lettering and that's not even really part of my channel but I guess it kind of is because I do brush pen reviews. So it's one of the things that I have been doing and uh, 
over the course of my two and a half year YouTube career. I have quite a few brush pen reviews on my channel and of course I have kept them all I think with the exception of one. I think I got rid of the Monami Twin Plus markers. Oh and I think I got rid of the Doms as well. I gave them to my son for um for playing around with for coloring because some brush pens just aren't meant for calligraphy. So that's actually kind of where I started. So mine was bullet journaling and brush pens, basically stationary in general. So I mean, stationary is a huge category. You, you can pretty much go anywhere with that, <laughs> which I feel like I have. I've kind of taken it all over the, the map with that. And uh, like, obviously it's not all about planning in a particular planner. I do tend to change my planning system every year and I do use multiple planners within the same year. So still for 2022, I'm going to be using a happy planner. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out um, the organized money, so she's another lady. She actually lives in Louisiana, I believe in New Orleans. And I just, uh, I absolutely love her channel. So when I'm putting my daughter to bed, sometimes what I'll do is I will sit there while she's going to sleep and I'll watch some YouTube videos. And I rewatched um, The Organized Money. Her name is Elena. And there's something about the way she plans. She, she does a lot of her own inserts actually, but she plans in a happy planner big. And just the way she has everything set up, she has her entire life in her planner. And I love that. She has one planner. She does switch it up every month. And I think that's a, a thing that a lot of us are unwilling to do. So if something's not working, I think you do need to change it. But at the same time, when it comes to the entire system, I don't think that if you're unhappy with the system that you should be switching to another planner right away because it's not very cost effective, especially when it comes to um, Franklin Covey, Covey binders, for instance, like, um, or, any, or any of like the expensive leather binders. There's, there's tons of companies out there, but uh, I find that the three systems I've really enjoyed so far are Happy Planner, just because... The system is transient. You can move pages in and out, but it's still large enough that I feel comfortable writing on it. I've also used Erin Condren. I like Erin Condren, um, but when I purchased Erin Condren, it was pretty much because um, another YouTuber had purchased and I, I liked the way that YouTuber was laying out their life on the planner. And then after a while, I just realized it wasn't the best fit for me. But um, I also really enjoy Franklin Planner. So I, I'm a huge writer. I like to have the room. So the day on two pages is just, is perfect for me. But I mean, that's not to say that I'm always going to be planning in a Franklin Planner all the time. So I do have other planners besides that. So um, what I've done is I've taken my Tombow. This number is 620. It's like the lavender color. And I've highlighted my little sections. And so I guess we'll review this because, um, yeah, I haven't done anything, you guys. So I wanted to develop this new night routine. And um, I guess I'll give you a little bit of a story here. So my son actually developed a cough um, on, what, what day was that? It was like Thursday of last week. So he had to stay home from school. Um, he wasn't sick, really. He just had a slight cough. And then I had a sore throat a couple of days after that for one day, and then it went away. And then my daughter had a cough and she still has a cough, but it's very slight. Like there's, there's nothing, there's nothing there. So we're all getting better. He'll be going back to school after Thanksgiving. So I do live in Canada. We have Thanksgiving on Monday. Technically it's um, Thanksgiving Sunday slash holiday Monday. So people take the Monday off in stat, like for a stat in lieu of the Sunday. And, uh, so I'm home regardless. My husband is working and um, we're going to have dinner with my mom. So my mom lives on her own. So she's coming over and uh, that's, that's kind of the big plan there. So anyway, he's been home this entire week and you guys, it has been such a hectic week to try to do anything. I, I can't do anything. He stayed up with me last night. Usually the mornings and the evenings are my quiet, peaceful time where I can get work done and plan. And he stayed up with me till two or three in the morning last night. He refused to go to sleep. And I was so frustrated. I felt like I was having an anxiety attack. 
and I tried not to show him, but at the same time, it w- it was bad. Like, you know, with how much work I do and with how much time I spend with my kids, I do still need alone time. And there's a time for kids to go to bed and a time for them to be awake. And he was invading my personal time. <laughs> I hate to say that. There was nothing wrong with him. He wasn't sick. He just doesn't like to sleep alone. And he wouldn't go to sleep last night. So usually I read him a story to go to bed. And so yeah, this week has been, I hate to say it, it's been a complete write-off. So um, none of these books have gotten read yet. So this is kind of what I mean by overdoing it for myself for this week, because in one week, I'm not going to read all these books. And when Chad comes back, like this week that we're planning for currently, this is my last week before Chad comes back again already. And when he's back, I won't read anything. None of this stuff will get done. So I feel like it's already a little bit of a write-off. I feel, and, and um, mind you, I'm not procrastinating it at all. I'm not... I'm still very motivated. I've been doing tons and tons of work. I'll let you guys in when we get to the business section. I'll tell you guys what I've been doing, but um, I've been crazy busy. And the book that I'm reading right now, I am on this one here. It's the last book in the series of the All Souls trilogy. And I don't know what it is. It's hard to get through. The chapters are really long. The material is a little bit dry compared to the last series I read, the Throne of Glass series. Um, this is probably the best book out of all of them that I've read so far, but it does take time to get through. It's it's kind of like an Outlander book. Those books are huge and the printing is tiny. So it one book takes me an entire month. So I think what I'm going to have to do is just downsize this a bit. I'm probably not going to get to this one at all, like this month. I am reading this one, this one. I probably won't even get to Outlander this month. And I'm really trying to be realistic here. So um, by the end of this week, this is what I'm going to try to do. So um, as far as personal, I'm going to try to read just the three books. So I've got A Book of Life. I know I said I wasn't going to use my black pen and I did anyway. How to Win Friends and Influence People. And then the last one is my witchery book. So those are the three that I am going to try to read for sure before Chad gets home because I know nothing will happen after that. So I still haven't developed a night routine, but I'm going to write it down again and hope for the best for this week. But yeah, I'm definitely going to knock down a few tasks because um, some work stuff is taking up a lot of my time and I'll be doing that right up until Wednesday or Thursday, I believe. So we're going to just knock it back. Um, water I did yesterday. So today is Saturday that I'm filming this. Friday was the only day that I managed to do it. And I did say drink water four times a day. Yeah. So four, four bottles every single day. So not just four, four days out of the week. I wasn't up at five. I think I was up at five once, so that definitely didn't get, didn't get done. And um, bed by 11, no way at all. Not, not a single time. Uh, last night was three o'clock. It's, it's been a little rough. Um, okay, so wellness, I'll just put, the water is still very important for me. So H2O, four bottles a day. And and the mental and learning, I'm going to put under wellness instead this time, I think, just to kind of crunch it down a little bit. So I want to journal. Um, the one good thing I did was, I think this was yesterday, I did my affirmations. You know what, guys? Because of how much work I've been doing and um, all the things I do have planned coming up, I think what I'm going to do going forward is prompts like so like this is basically just different types of journaling okay um all of this stuff and also including the tarot reading so i might i'm gonna just do this once only one time a week just once a week and the journaling as well just once a week 
because uh, it's actually time consuming. So I have to have the time. It's just not realistic to do it every day. I just, I haven't been able to fit it in for the past. Can't remember how like long ago it was when I started this, but I haven't been doing it up until this point at all. So I'm just going to go down to once a week. The same thing with manifestation is once a week, affirmations once a week, prompts once a week, journaling I'm going to try to do every day. So journal, we'll say out of seven. And I think I journaled this week so far three out of seven. I did, didn't do prompts yet. I manifested once, affirmationed once. <laughs> and... Um, paying the Scotia visa. I shouldn't even put that on there because that won't happen until the end of the month. So crossing it off. I think my only goal for financial, I'm not even going to put that on here this week. The only goal is sticking within my budget. That That's my goal. And honestly, so I guess I could just say no spend on credit cards. That might be a good idea. So personal, let's just get back here good wellness um so we'll say prompt prompt journal it's all journaling tasks one manifestation just once affirmations just once and i guess we'll add spiritual here because actually, you know what, you guys, I have witchery under here. So that's my reading for spiritual. So I'm going to include spiritual under wellness as well. Um, meditation. I still would like, <laughs> technically, I would like to try to do it seven days out of the week. But again, the only time is in the morning if I get up before my kids wake up, which has been like, obviously, we've been sleeping in this entire week because my son's been homesick. So uh, next week, it is a long weekend, so we only have the four days out of the week. I'm going to try doing it for the four days. If I can get up at five, that would be great. So I'll say four days. Tarot or Oracle, just once. And then Journal, just once. I think that's a lot easier to manage. So that's taken care of, that's taken care of, that's done. We're going to cross off financial or maybe, I don't know, mental and learning. We already crossed it off. Um, financial, honestly, all it is is no charge to credit cards for like, um, and I don't want to say, so this is kind of what I've been doing. If there's something on Amazon that I want, I hardly ever order on Amazon. Um, if it's If it's an expensive item, I do save up for it. If it's something small, I usually just go ahead and grab it. But if it's like, say for instance, like the haul that I'm planning on doing for Franklin Covey, I will just put it on my credit card and then that's, it's kind of a wash because obviously a lot of the stuff I use for like from Amazon or like online ordering, a lot of it's for my business. So I'll show you guys the haul. I'll use it in my planner. And I know it sounds like an excuse, maybe it is, but at the same time, it, it does help to to promote content and growth on my channel. So I do kind of use it as a business write-off, I guess. And um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, I, I don't order all the time. Like I, I don't do it every day. It might be once a month, but I think as long as I'm doing that within my budget, I think I can still manage that. So um, instead of adding like a wellness or a financial section, sorry, to this sheet, I'm just going to add it here and just say, um, so this is again, like my, my, um, variable spending. So food, non-food house, pets, that kind of thing. I'm going to say no charge to credit card. So no spend credit card. Okay. And then the bottom one is going to be business because obviously that's a huge one for me, you guys. I have been so incredibly busy. Change Patreon. That's something that has not happened um, I'm going to try to aim for the end of the month, but it won't be this. It might be the last week of the month because this week is a write off. Next week is a write off. Uh, three new affiliates. I mean, that's potentially really easy. I just have to do it and I'm concentrating on doing something else right now. So um, 
three new affiliates. Okay, so that one I haven't done yet. So monetization, you guys, it took me 24 hours, 24 hours to get monetized. And I am so happy that you all are here. I'm so glad you want to subscribe to my content. So thank you. And none of this could have happened without you guys. I mean, you're awesome. Like, this is so cool. I've, I've always wanted a job where I could work from home and where I could share my art and my planning and, you know, all of the things that I do that I love to do. I wanted to, to do that forever. And uh, I wish I'd just gotten started on YouTube sooner. I wish I'd quit my Sobeys job and worked on YouTube like 10 years ago, because imagine where we would be now. But anyway, that's besides the point. So that happened. I'm so excited that happened Saturday or Sunday. I think it was monetized Monday. And I think I hit 999. Was it Friday night or Saturday night when I went to bed? No, Friday night. So that was last week. Uh, shop sale, nothing yet, but I'm not going to include that this time. Financials, I did. Analytics, I did. Statistics, I did. Um, blogs, <laughs> I had an interesting Wednesday because Wednesday is my blog writing day. My mom decided to come over and my mom works part time, um, but she didn't like it's hard because I'm, I work from home and she came over to visit and I was, I did tell her I was busy. It was a work day. I told her that I was, you know, writing my blog, but she came over and, um, because my office is in the living room, I can't just go to another room and lock myself in. I only got one blog written instead of two. So my goal has been to do two blogs every Wednesday when Chad is not here. And that did not happen. So thankfully, I am ahead. I have my blogs written up until the end of November. But still, I just, you know, it gives me that little bit of leeway so that I can take some time off if I need to. And uh, unfortunately, I just got one done. And uh, first common, so I wanted to do a community post, but I haven't seen the tab yet for that. But I wanted to take a poll. So when I figure that all out, I will do that. And you guys can vote on whatever it is I'm asking. In the email newsletter, I have not done that yet at all. So um, the big thing that I'm doing right now is, I think I mentioned this in my last my last um, weekly video, if I'm not mistaken. So um, in, for Amazon affiliate, so you need to make three sales before three months are up. And that's kind of the guidelines for to become an Amazon affiliate. And I think um, I've done this a few times now. And uh, so I have 533 videos or 535 videos now on my channel. So I have had to go back onto every single old video and reach like change my link to reflect a new account because the old ones keep expiring. You don't get the three sales within the allotted time frame. So that's currently what I'm doing. I think I'm on 150 or I, I just started the 200th video. So I still have a ways to go. Uh, so that's going to be my one of my goals, my business goals for this week. I'll just put Amazon links. But at the end of this week that we're currently planning for, I will be done. And so that's the thing that's taking up the majority of my time right now. I'm trying to do 50 videos a day. And it is very tedious. It's very time consuming. And it's boring. It's boring. So boring. And I guess there's not really any point in going back all the way to the beginning because, I mean, how many people watch your older videos? But you'd be surprised, right? So I'm going back uh, just to do that, just so everything is accurate and up to date. And you know what, guys? I think that's it for my goals this week. Um, I just threw the old card in the garbage because literally it was a write-off. I... I feel so, oh, I, I don't want to say I feel like a failure. I, I hate saying that word because it's all a work in progress. You're working towards certain goals in your life and you're trying to achieve them. But sometimes life happens, like things come up and you can't give yourself a hard time over it. Even though I still feel like I do, I still feel like I I'm the one to blame for it, but really we're not. So, um, I, I've been working my butt off the past couple of weeks and I, I, you know, I can't wait for the day when I can go on a vacation. I haven't traveled anywhere, like nowhere. So 
I hope that day will come. So anyway, so that's it for, for this week, I think. I think this is good enough. And if there is something that comes up, we can just pop it on there. So now I'm going to plan for the week. We're going to refer back to the month. I'm also referring back to my Erin Condren, which I've kind of planned out my entire month in like colored stickers and stuff. And also I'm going back to my Happy Planner, which is my main work planner. So we have reviewed the goals. We've done next week's goals. Compass card. This is kind of replacing the compass card. Now the month calendar. So I just want to take a quick peek. See what we've got going on. And those are my personal monthly goals. Okay. So here we are. And um, we are on Saturday, so weekly prep. I've done everything for that week. So again, Thanksgiving is Monday. Tomorrow's the last day of the week, technically, even though this is a Sunday to Saturday calendar. We're having dinner tomorrow. Um, I did go to the grocery store. You guys, I make it a habit not to go to the grocery store on the weekend. And I had to go today, and I hated it. I hated every minute of it. I hated that I had my kids in the grocery store on the weekend. I mean, my kids are better now, like they're not sick and I make sure to sanitize everything. Um, but it's just, you know, there's a people like so many people and I used to love shopping. You know, I loved everything about it, but now I'm just like, I'm a homebody. I just, I, ugh. I just don't want to go out, like call it lazy, call it whatever you want. But I just, I hated every minute of today of not today, but going out shopping. So anyway, so we're going to, I'm going to cook tomorrow. It's going to be a huge meal and there's going to be like four of us, including my kids. And my kids are probably not going to eat anything because they're so picky. So Monday, there's no school. Tuesday is my father-in-law's birthday. And I put groceries here because I just have to get like a few lunch things. I need to get jugs of milk for my kids. I need to get some sandwich meat for my son for his school lunches. And then nothing really crazy is happening. I'll still be doing the budget thing Wednesday, Thursday, early dismissal Thursday, and then it's actual garbage day on Friday. So I actually forgot to take out the um, the recycle and the food waste this past week. Like, I don't even know how I forgot. It just completely slipped my mind. And then this, like next Saturday, I'm going to have to do weekly prep for two weeks because I always usually do that when Chad's home. So I'm going to have to do two weeks in all of my planners, which is, it's always so much more work. And I don't like doing it that way, but then it allows me to have that free time with my husband. So that's what I have to do. And what else? Oh yeah. So it's been like really cold here. I've been trying to keep my pepper plants from dying. I've been covering them up with a blanket every night that it's either frost or it falls below zero degrees Celsius. And it's been basically every day this week, it's been below zero and it's, it's been bloody cold. Like even today was the warmer day. So I think it was like 14 or 15 degrees Celsius, but this upcoming week is going to be cold. It's going to be like five degrees. So, um, I think we're finally hit the peak where, you know, kind of fall, fall weather sets in and I don't know how long my plants are going to survive for. I feel so bad because I'm, I love summer. It's my favorite season. And I just, I feel so guilty letting my pretty plants die. I can't bring them inside, but oh, I just, yeah, it's so much money and it's, I get a lot of annuals just because I think they look prettier than some of the, the perennials that you can get. And we rototill over the areas all the time and just to clean everything up. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. But I'm I'm kind of sick of flowers, sick of planting. I just waste so much water and it's so much work for only such a short period of time. I just wish we lived somewhere warmer. But anyway, so this week is fairly uneventful. Um, just looking here so we can cross off some of these things. I'm going to have to get pumpkins this weekend. Like, or next payday, I'm going to have to buy pumpkins. Because then when my husband comes home, we will be carving pumpkins. And I guess the, one of the big things I'm going to have to do, it's more for a work thing, is start planning out my November bullet journal. It's something that's been on my mind. And this is going to also sound lazy, but instead of raking leaves, we do have a tree out front and it makes a huge mess. I'm just going to get my husband to go over it with our mower. So we do have like a bag mower. So 
it'll clean up all the leaves and we don't really have to rake. So we're gonna do that when he comes home, but that will fall onto the next week. So yeah, so there are just a few things. You can see that I've done a few of these things, but um, I don't know, I feel like there's still so much to do this month. And a lot of it comes when Chad's home, of course, because he's here to help. Okay, so enough blathering about that. Let's go to the week. This is going to be a talk with me video instead of a plan with me video. Okay, so here we are. Um, you know, I feel like I didn't even clean it, or like check any of this stuff off. Actually, I haven't even done any of this stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. So the one thing here, I have like H, like Happy Planner work. So what I want to do, and this is kind of like something I'm waiting for to come into our Michaels. So if I order from the Happy Planner website again, because I'm from Canada, not only is shipping crazy amount of money, we have to pay US prices, which obviously are like pretty expensive. And then I also have to pay customs. And for some reason, Happy Planner charges like the customs amount is ridiculous. I think I paid the last time I had a Happy Planner haul from the Happy Planner. It was like $60 for customs, like for two separate orders. It was $60 altogether, but it was crazy because I'd already paid like $200 for the order. And yeah, I, I just, I'm waiting for the products to come into my, my, my local Michaels, but I'm waiting for a budget expense planner. So that's part of my work, um, process for next year and then there's this particular horizontal planner I want to write down like my reading planner I still want to keep that and it's like the paint splatter or like some kind of like really colorful one and I don't know if my Michaels will carry it but Happy Planner just released it so I'm just waiting on that so I'm probably just going to cross that off but um, what I'm going to have to do is put all of the regular stuff on my weekly and then go into oh add like all the new tasks I want to accomplish this week and then also add everything else that I still haven't carried over there are some things from this current week that I might not pull over because I just won't have time to do it but as I progress through each week I'm gonna have to like come back through the weeks like this one was still from the end of September so that might be something I have to do too. So yeah, so let's get started, you guys. This one's going to be a longer video just because I've been talking so much, but I feel like I have to talk my way through it in order for it to make any sense because I'm also like discussing how, like the things I am thinking about at the same time. So I guess let's get to the planning. Um, I'm just going to pull out, or I guess I'll keep, what I'll do is I'll keep this to the side because I have my stickers in front of me. I've got my other two planners here and I have my tea on the right hand side. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge tea addict. I love my favorite tea. Like I like herbal tea, like late at night before I go to bed, I drink the Celestial Seasoning Sleepy Time Tea. But my favorite two black teas are the Tetley Strawberry Tea. You can only order on Amazon. My, any stores here in Edmonton don't sell it anymore. And then, of course, Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey. But I'm a huge tea and cream, or sorry, sugar and cream gal. I love sweet and creamy tea. Like, <laughs> some people hate that, but there's something about it that just makes me go wild. It's like, it pulls up my heartstrings. I love it so much. Okay. And I just wanted to show you this. Look, look at this. It's from Let's Plan It. There's tea time. So cute. I haven't used them yet because I drink like five cups of tea every day. So, you know, I'm always caffeinated. Okay, let's let's start planning before I keep
we found the goal we thought we'd be forever young but now i know we can't keep floating we have to fall this is the beat of broken hearts is it our lost? we can't go on Okay, you guys, I think that does it for this week. So, uh, number one, I had to actually start refilming again because my camera shut off. I forgot to delete the items in the deleted folder, so my phone was completely filled. That was like 256 gigs of video film clips I had to delete. Oh, okay. So that's like the issue with filming. So... Uh, I feel like I'm going to call this a functional planning video, even though I did use stickers in on this spread. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's so messy. I'm usually a lot neater than this and I never use markers in my planner. Uh, this is the first time I've actually used markers and this one did kind of bleed through a bit. But as you guys know, if, if you have Franklin Covey products, the pages are really, really, really uh, like thin. So I think they are they, correct me if I'm wrong, are they 70 or 80 GSM? But anyway, so I kind of, oh, I don't even know what we're going to have Tuesday. I didn't even write that one in. Way to go. Okay, so I think I'm just going to write, I have no idea. I'm just going to say fend for yourself. That's not me saying that the kids have to find their own dinners. Of course, I'm going to provide meals. I just, I have no idea what. I'm at a point where... It's not like a complete burnout, but that's not really where I'm at. It's just trying to cook meals. Like I used to love cooking Monday to Friday weekends. We'd usually do something fun, but Monday to Friday, I'd be on it. Chad would be home every night. I'd have dinner planned out. The whole month of meal planning would be done. And now because he's not even here, I have no motivation to meal plan. I don't make awesome dinners because the only person I'd be making it for is me. And we're trying to cut back on food like the food budget. So I can't go out and buy expensive this and that. We don't eat fish. We don't love chicken. And I hate ground beef. 
So that doesn't leave me a lot of options. I think I'm going to have to go vegan or something. I just, I don't, I don't believe in, in having that for my kids. I think that they should try to eat everything healthy. Uh, so like chicken, fish, like I still believe that they should eat that stuff. I just, my personal choice as an adult, I don't like it. Like I, it, yeah. I mean, going from that, I used to eat liver when I was a kid, like <laughs> go figure. But uh, yeah, I love vegetables. I love Brussels sprouts and broccoli. They're my two favorite. Oh, and rutabaga. Love rutabaga. So uh, tomorrow for, for Thanksgiving dinner, I'm actually making a broccoli casserole and a rutabaga casserole. And that's going to be like, besides the stuffing and the cranberry sauce, I swear that's going to be my favorite part of the meal. I love that so much. So anyway, so I just kind of quickly wrote that in. And then going over to my calendar for my home. So I put in like the usual stuff. I did do some lettering here for Thanksgiving. I know it already says like Thanksgiving Canada Day and Columbus Day is for the States, but I wanted to add that in just to, you know, make it pretty, make it really big. I have to do the shopping on Tuesday because it's the first day Connor will go to school. So it's easy to do that way. I just run to the grocery store as soon as I drop him off. And I'm going to get a coffee because the last couple of weeks have been really tough. <laughs> it's been, it's been a few hard couple of weeks. So I'm going to get a coffee from Starbucks. It's my father-in-law's birthday. So we're probably going to do like a joint FaceTime call with my husband and sing happy birthday to him. I'll do some laundry. I'm going to prep my budget the Wednesday, Thursday. I will uh, pay the bills first. And then I go to the bank and get the cash for my sinking fund project. I have to remember to take out the garbage this time because this week, past week, I did not. Friday is also a big day. So it's garbage day. Um, it's watch a movie and take out day. So like during the day, I'm going to have a little bit more time. I will be doing stickers on this day, but because I don't really have any crazy planning, unless I do start my planning because I have two weeks to plan for, but I'm going to try doing some happy planner notes. There's some things that the Elena does on the organized money channel that I would like to incorporate into my system. So I might do that. And then again, the weekend will be all for planning. So I'm um, just going to be a huge planning weekend. And then I added tons of tasks to this list. So I'm not going to go through them all because there's a lot, but we'll kind of recap next week and just kind of see where I stand because there's a lot like <laughs> I, and to be completely honest, a lot of this stuff won't take that long. It, it's literally like, you know, the motivation to just get up and do it. And then once it's done, you know, it's okay. But um, yeah, I, I added all the same, same kind of things I added on here because I like having it here so I can check it off. I don't like putting check marks on here. Um, this is really just a visual so I can be like, okay, laundry, birthday, yes, coffee, um, visual here. And then this is where I check off the list just to make myself feel better because I'm checking it off. So then moving on over to the work week. Again, I did this in a different style. I actually kind of like how the purple looks together. Like I use this washi tape from Simply Gilded. And then really the only stickers I have are my functional stickers for my YouTube and my blog. And that's really all I'm going to do. I, I feel like I still have a lot. I feel like this linking all of my my Amazon links on my, my videos is holding me back because it's so time consuming. It literally takes up two hours of my time. So at some points when I'm doing it, I'm almost like is this even worth my time? Like honestly, two hours per day is a huge chunk of time. And like the reward or benefit I'm going to get from that is probably nothing. Like, but I feel like I, I haven't done this for all of my old videos for the last few times I've had to do this. So I'm going to go back, do it all. And then hopefully this time, cross my fingers, I'll get three sales and I will be an Amazon affiliate. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of doing it. It's only been like two or three days. But um, I wrote down all of the things I need to do. And uh, this week is going to be different. So normally Monday, Thursday, I always edit. And I don't have any videos to edit. So what I might do on those days, Thursday, I'm going to attempt, like I'm going to have to have some kind of makeup video prepared for the Monday following this week because I don't have anything. So I'm going to have to do my makeup during the week sometime. And then I'm going to have to edit it. So Thursday might be that editing day. I'll also be editing the, the budget video for the 14th. 
And you guys, I need some input here because now if you're really interested in the budget videos, I might continue it. I just kind of feel like it's a little repetitive now that I've done a couple. I don't really know if I need to do any more, but if you guys like to see where I'm standing with my savings, my sinking funds and all that stuff, um, let me know because uh, I can continue doing them for sure. I just don't want to get boring on you and, um, you know, kind of say the same things every single time. So let me know about the budget videos, how you like that. And uh, of course, like my content doesn't just revolve around um, Franklin Planner. So I know a lot of you are Franklin Covey fans and you guys love to see how like functional planning works for every day and just kind of see how it works with the different inserts that people buy. But I did honestly, like I have like all of my main videos, my main planning days before this Franklin Covey thing took effect were Tuesday, Friday. So these are like the types of videos I usually film. Um, honestly, anything to do with bullet journaling. And these are like bullet journal weekly spreads. And then these are brush pen reviews. So the Fudu Gokochi, Gokochi, I don't know how you say it exactly, but they're, they're small brush pens that um, you can do Chinese figures with them, but I use them as headers in my bullet journal or even in my planner. And um, the smaller bullet, like the smaller brush tips are great if you are a hand letterer. So um, I do consider myself a, a hand letterer. I feel like I've had enough practice in the last three years that I've, you guys, I, like if you've seen the before and now, like I have improved so significantly, like it's, it's been crazy and you really do find your own style after that kind of a time. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with uh, where my hand lettering has gone. And then here, this page is a huge old mess, you guys. I basically took the whole spot, so priorities, memo, and next week, and just listed everything that I had to do for my business. And this is hopefully stuff I can do this entire week. So I do have to finish, and I, I didn't even add the, the 50 video, like the, the links for Amazon on here, because I've already scheduled that in. But um, I do have like above the the regular stuff that I do every day, I have other stuff. I still, I've been putting it off from week to week. So I just kind of migrate it to the next week, but it's not getting done. And I really do need to start focusing on that. So I think going forward, if I don't do any of this stuff this week, I'm going to have to start actually scheduling it in. And that might be a good possibility because um, once this week is done, I will be done the, the Amazon links because I just want to be done with that. I am so over it. But um, yeah, that's it for this plan with me, you guys. I, I know this was a long one and I wanted to talk a lot just to kind of explain, you know, how things were standing and what was going on. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for me. Let me know what you want to see. Um, if there's anything specific that you want to see that I'm not currently doing, let me know. And also for Christmas. So this is kind of one of the, the things I have on my, I will have on a community poll is I want to know what you guys want to see for Christmas. So three options, I guess. Do you want to see a vlogmas? Do you want to see a plan miss where I plan uh, using all my planners every day for 25 days during December? Or would you like to see uh, just kind of the content that I'm currently doing and just kind of keeping up the same schedule? Also, let me know if you want to continue seeing budget videos because that's something that I feel like it benefits the everyday person. Um, I mean, the budget still holds whether you're using cash or, or not. So let me know and um, we will talk to you guys next week. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new here. We'd love to have you and click on the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. That way my content will get to you. You guys can see when I post, when I post, and we will talk to you next week. Have a wonderful week, you guys. Bye now.